Hello folks, Jason Clinkenbeard and Maddie Lytle here in Arlie, Montana, and we're gearing up for the seventh barn sale here in Arlie, Montana. This sale uh, will be closing on the 16th of August. We're gonna walk around and give you a virtual preview. We've got a nice little lineup of antique uh, horse-drawn farm machinery. At this time, we've got a hay wagon and three trailers, a nice little utility trailer and a, a nice Fox uh, flatbed deck over, heavy duty, and an ATV trailer with a raft rack on it. And we've got a bunch of building materials and uh, lumber and whatnot. Take a look at that online. Over here in this lineup in the yard, we've got a 3020 John Deere loader tractor, Caterpillar GP18 forklift, a Farm Pro 2425 with a backhoe and a loader. We've got several other attachments and implements, including a John Deere 336 square baler that's in fantastic condition, back blade, some water tanks, a uh, water tank chassis, and a, and a custom-built trommel. In the vehicle lineup, uh, so far, we do have a Suburban coming in. It just hasn't got here yet. Uh, but we've got an F-150, a 1996, and we've got a 1996 F-250 with a 7.3 diesel. We've got a 1999 F-250. Both of those F-250s are extended cabs. This one's got all the hydraulics plumbed to the back and uh, set up that way. And we've got a 2001 24 valve Cummins. A really clean little truck. All right, folks, and we're looking down the outside lineup of medium items and I uh, just wanted to mention on this sale, it will be uh, opening up for bidding on the 9th of August. It'll be open for one week. Uh, it'll start closing out on the 16th at uh, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Uh, and that'll be when the first lot closes. It'll be a soft close with two minutes added uh, if somebody bids in the last minute. So... Going down the list here, we've got some Jeep tires, some actually pretty good tread takeoff tires. Three job boxes, two large ones and then a smaller one. We've got an X-Pro Youth four-wheeler. It's a gas-powered and I don't think there's more than an hour of use on it. Nice little two-person paddle boat. Uh, not to be confused with a pedal boat. Um, I'm just gonna kinda show you here, just lots of good stuff in this sale. A great little seagull raft, a pontoon style raft with all the fixins. Champion generator, just two hours on this generator. It's just like brand new. Another great running 4400 generator. Some more shop tools, shop equipment. If you, if you see something on here and you have any questions, feel free to give Maddie or myself a phone call. Um, all this outside stuff is, well, everything's cataloged and it's be in good shape that way. Nice little wooden bench, some fishing kayaks, some ice fishing gear, set of 20 inch tires, parts washer, a stand-up freezer and two stand-up refrigerators. One of those is a refrigerator freezer. There's two of these slip tanks, good slip tanks. Some nice smokers. We've got a Traeger Junior here and a master-built Sportsman Elite. A 220 hot pressure washer. Some underlift equipment. There's a tranny jack. Uh, Nice big uh, horizontal uh, Dale. They, they, that had a brand new motor, but they haven't wired uh, wired it up yet. But uh, the electrician's coming down to do that. That's a uh, 220 shop press. Some more underlift equipment. There's a cherry picker. 
pressure washer, topside creeper. Some great uh, tool racks. Little mini bike. Nice big set of log tongs. Look like they're 24 or 30 inch log tongs. Couple of floor burnishers. Basketball setup. There's a couple of welders, a Lincoln and a Craftsman. There you go, let's go inside the barn. All right, folks, we're in the barn now for this August 16th closing. We've got a bunch of guns in this sale. Um, the guns will transfer with FFL. Um, shotguns, uh, some collector stuff, uh, some brand new in the box stuff. We got them in the bags there, but in the box, there's uh, just a whole bunch of different calibers, an SKS, crossbow, and uh, over here we've got some handguns. We've got a 22 semi and a and an old Colt 22 garter gun, a Vaquero, and a black powder. Now let's go take a look at the ammo. All righty, down here on this ammo table, we have got thousands of rounds of 308 ammo. Uh, we've got some Russian made, some Chinese made, some US made. Um, there's uh, some linked uh, rounds. There's tracer rounds. There's 500 308 tracer rounds. Case of uh, shotgun shells, some reloads, and some factory here for 320 Winchester short mag. All kinds of load and dies, folks. Lots of bullets, some vintage uh, boxing in this bullets. Some reloading equipment. And take a look here, we have a whole bunch of 50 caliber ammo. Um, several hundred rounds of that, and some of them are linked with tracers. So if you're a 50 cal guy, um, just finish up this table here. We've got a 1954 Lionel train set we're selling. Tracks and all. Some wool. Uh, World War II naval uniform. And then let's move over here. All right, folks. We have body armor uh, 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 galore here. Bulletproof jackets, vests, equipment. Um, Helmets, night vision stuff, all this is part of an estate in uh, Superior. A few things we haven't cataloged yet, but will be. We've got several antique stoves. I'll kind of pop those on. There's some cowboy walks there. Of course, hand tools. Artificial flowers by the, by the barrel. I'll just kind of show you a few of these things underneath. A nice uh, ventless gas fireplace, another antique pot belly, a little uh, Trilliby Oak 550. Now here we've got gun safes in this sale. We've actually got three gun safes and another safe. This safe here is a National Security Magnum. It's a 40 plus gun gun safe. This one here is a Liberty Fat Boy. Again, about the same size, 40 plus gun gun safe. And over here, we've got a Fortress Security and then an antique hull safe and lock work. And it's a big one. It's, and of course, we've got combinations for all of these. All right, folks, in the side of the barn, this side, we've got a lot of tack, packing gear and riding saddles. And I'll kind of show you that. Uh, more saddles, pads, tack boxes, harness, miscellaneous uh, uh, packing gear and tack there and uh, we've got a Ray Holes Decker saddle and and several others including an OP Robinette tree over here we've got some custom built saddles uh, Al Toomey pack saddle here we've got a Mile City cog shell um, a stone saddlery saddle out of Livingston and um, yeah, just, just some real good quality saddles. Probably one of the nicer lineups. Over here, we've got a floor cleaner. It's a wet floor cleaner. Uh, would have been using a grocery store. It's all electric. 
a nice uh, leather re electric recliner and a Victrola and so on. Um, let's just walk over here. Sorry if I'm making you sick, folks. Lots of scabbards and pack panniers, pack bags, things like that. Some underbed quilt boxes, a big jet drill press. A bag sealer and a Miller wire feed welder with a cart. Whole bunch of burlap sacks, folks, with uh, the ones that are selling all have print on them and some pretty neat stuff there if you got something to do with that. All right, down this row, we have a rolling cabinet, top chest, bottom chest, full of uh, gun cleaning supplies. Nice grizzly hackle fishing, fly fishing rod, and a couple of bigger musky salmon type rods. There's a Ramsey winch. Several big drones in this sale. Um, in hard cases, what have you. There's... There's another drone in the box there. Some Idaho collector buckles. Some old lanterns as well as some good using Coleman type. Tannerite, lots of tannerite. Lots of fishing tackle. Four service flies, I think there's two of those flies. Uh, wolf traps. Shoeing equipment. More lanterns. And look at the lineup of Dutch ovens, folks. There's big ones and there's smaller ones. There's a stainless steel custom built one. Um, one of our sellers had a catering business. You'll see some other stuff that'll be in that lineup. Another Miller welder. All right, we're gonna show you down this row here, ladder jacks, power tools, and some good power tools. We've combined several estates here, and like I say, we're gonna have preview um, on the uh, 14th, 15th, and 16th, and we encourage you, if you can, come and look at this sale. Um, there's a moisture meter for the hay. A nice Swedish anvil. This is a sale you'll want to keep an eye on. Um, we've got an LEM 30 pound sausage stuffer. We've got some new meat cutting equipment, a dehydrator, an electric jer jerky shooter, a nice LEM meat grinder, all the vacuum seal stuff that you'd need. Big globe meat slicer, a brand new 23 quart canner and a fog machine. <laughs> so just real eclectic in this sale, folks. An antique uh, Hammond typewriter that is absolutely out of this world for condition. Uh, lots of powder here for uh, uh, shot shell. Oh, and here we got a like new Schrader wood stove. It's in great condition. Lots of tools. All right, in the gun case, we do have some collector sports cards, and we've got a lot of really neat knives in this sale. Some antique ones, as well as some uh, H. Smith knives from Missoula, Montana, Harry, Harry Smith. Some good wood carvings. Got a nice large wood uh, flat screen entertainment center. Another wood box there uh, full of camp kitchen set up better take a look at that um, there's going to be like 28 of these enamel skillets they used them for plates in that catering outfit i was talking about there is some christmas stuff um, a nice uh, gas range indoor outdoor there's several of these cross cut saws in the sale
There's a jet uh, bandsaw. Nice griddle, electric griddle. Here we go here. Sorry this is taking so long, folks, but there is an awful lot of stuff in here. There's some magazines for your ARs. Some nice uh, little antiques and curiosities. Lots of stuff underneath, too. Some collector beers. A whole mess of antique bits. Retired smoke jumper parachute. There's a full rigid and DeWalt uh, cordless sets. Um, there's, there's a number of chainsaws in this sale, as well as other smaller power equipment. And folks, that pretty much wraps it up. We've got a little bit down this wall, another four service fly. Um, again, uh, feel free to come down the 14th, 15th, 16th and come and preview this stuff. Um, it's going to be a great sale. Oh, I forgot there's a little wall tent down here. Anyways, uh, like I say, if you have any questions, give us a call and we will uh, try to maybe help preview something over the phone if that's what you need to do. And uh, Rivers West Auction dot com